Hi guys, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will going to look at ClickSense only function. So ClickSense only function is pretty unique and sometimes very very helpful in certain scenarios. So let's look at the definition of ClickSense only function. So only returns a value if there is only one and only one possible result from the aggregated data. So that's its main condition that there should only be one possible result based on the expression that you will be specifying uh, within the only function. If record contains only one value, then that value is written irrespective of whether it is numeric or text. But if there is more than one value, then null is returned. Right? So it can also be helpful in if conditions to evaluate whether the expression that you have is returning a single value or multiple values in situation likes where you need to evaluate only a single one or a multiple outputs. So use the group by clause to evaluate over multiple records in case you have multiple records and the only function can return numeric and text value as I explained earlier based on the value that it returned. So let's see it in the expression and uh, how it, it really, you know, uh, how we can really specify that. All right, so here we are in the data tab, as you can see, and uh, this is basically the script uh, that we have. So I'll just try to expand it so that you can easily see it or zoom it. So this script, as you can see, is having the customer information, product information, order information. So this is the product this is the order number this is the unit sales and this is the customer id and if you see astrida is the only customer which has the complete information but if you see the beta cab you have only the product information but no order number no unit sales similarly in this third customer for this third customer you don't have you have the information missing so what uh, only function will going to return if we specify in the script is only the this particular customer so let's see how we can do that and how we can see the output so let me go back into the normal mode all right so over here we will going to specify the only function so let's give it a table name only itself and let's specify the load and we will going to load the customer information as we need to group by it uh, in case as I mentioned case of a multiple output or multiple records so we want only customer ID right so it will return only that customer ID where only one and one particular record is possible so only customer ID um, as um, let's call it complete underscore ID or complete underscore record and uh, we call it resident temp sorry temp and group by customer all right let's save it and let's load it and in the front end we will going to see the complete underscore rack so let's load this close this come into the analysis and over here Let's get the table. Let's add the dimension, which is customer. And let's add another one, which is complete underscore rack. So as you can see, the information is only available or the, the ID is only available for Estrida. And the reason for that is, as I mentioned, if I go into the data, um, you only have complete re records for the Estrida. If you see for beta cap, some of the information is missing for, for can, can utility, you have some of the information missing. And that's why you only get the Estrida. Now let's go ahead and see it, see the only function in the front end. Okay, so to better understand that, what we, I will do is I will simply get, uh, I will simply first click on this and uh, remove this just to make it little clear for you um, 
now what I will take is one more column the dimension of product and the product after product we have a dimension which is unit sales and finally we have I guess yeah order number I think that's what we have not taken so maybe the order number over here so what do we want over here is basically the one single record if it contains so for example if we look at the unit sales you have 10 18 9 2 4 5 and in case of these two product is missing so what I'll do is I'll come into the data and just to make it little interesting I will change this to 4 because now we have two records uh, for customer 1 and customer 2 the AA product A and product BB the unit sales is same so just to give you some perspective save load data close analysis it's 4 4 now all right and I will take a text um, where it is here I go all right I think this is also makes sense so add a measure expression so what I want is basically only only is the function and I let's say want the product as an output but it will return null because there are like multiple products so what do I need I need something so the help of the set analysis where I can say the unit sales is equal to what four and close this over here did I start all right over here unit sales within this and this now the syntax is fine all right so as you can see we have two products with this so let's see what we'll get we get nothing because we have multiple unit sales let's try with the uh, unit sales 10 okay so over here I will just change it to 10 and press tab what do you get EE right so I hope you get the idea right now if I change 18 still AA but if I change it to 9 it should give the product B B right so now you have probably got the idea to use the only function both in the script as well as in the front end so I hope by after this video you should be able to apply it you should be able to have get it in the if functions or wherever it is possible just so that uh, you can utilize the expression at the fullest so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video the new topic